Hi guys, it's your boy Harry here, and today we are going to do some, nothing really, just some, um, just going to talk about this week's football, because a lot has been going on, and don't forget you should try out, hold up, I'm just going to get it, the One Football app, it is really good and useful, you can just out, check out all things on it, um, transfers um i'll just stop man city this is here it's been city hammer um watford um in 138 fa cup final if you don't know scores six nil and sterling got a hat trick by stealing a goal off um jesus i know um yeah, and you can find all the news with my favourite team, Everton. You can probably follow even at Brington Stanley. Just get it out. Um, anyway, I ended the video. There's been some, as I said at the start, crazy stuff happening in the world of football. If you, if you don't live under a rock, you'll heard that City have won the league. Um, to be honest, I don't mind. And they're my second team, City, but my first team is Everton. Yeah, and it's basically that. I'm just going to be a minute. Good. Yeah? You're still alive. I'm making a video. Um, yeah, and anyway, um, I'm back. Hello. Um, so, um, I just wondered, um, hopefully you guys are enjoying content. But anyway, let's get into the video. Oh, my friend just put it down. Um, so, um, again, from the end of the championship playoffs, one football told me this. Apparently, John Terry said that um, uh, the Aston Villa fans, fans were left disappointed as Aston Villa got through to the final. That is a fan, and we just, we're not a very good team, and we just got through to the final of a championship playoffs. I'll be really happy. And there was a video, I, don't, I can't show it right now, but. City, <laughs> city fans, um, whilst they were celebrating, they were just normal. For the time, if my team had run the league, Everton, it's never going to happen, but if they did, I would be screaming my heart out for about five hours straight. <laughs> True story. Um, but, yeah, it's so weird that, and, um, to know <laughs> and, and and even you <laughs> up yourself and um, the Wolves fans were left cheering and um, to fake Liverpool fans that Brighton had just scored <laughs> it was hilarious if you watched the video it was absolutely hilarious and um, um and just to brag because I'm an Everton fan um uh, people say you know it didn't matter because they drew a lot of games but Everton stopped Liverpool from winning the league because they were the last, last team to stop Liverpool from gaining any point and um, three points in the Premier League. So, um, just and people might say, "Oh, they done to Leicester before," but um, yeah, but so they could have won that. I don't care. <laughs> to be completely honest with you. I don't really care, but all I'm, I care about is that I just said that. And anyway, back to championship. Derby and Leeds played, and it was crazy. It's uh, hell, hell, hell. So Leeds, um, Leeds were two 0 up at one point on aggregate, and then Jack Marriott with the first touch of his um thing, it went in. So, good for him, because of the mistake by Casillas. It's not Ike Casillas. And I, um, I'm glad Ike Casillas is free. It's really good. And, um, yeah, and back all the way to League One, it was Sunderland-Portsmouth. Sunderland went through 1-0, 0-0 on the game, but on aggregate 1-0. And there was a point, um, poor Sunderland player, um, Having a bit of a scrap, and then 
Portsmouth player pushed the Sunderland player into the stand and then um, a fan kicked him, literally. I have seen you a version of my kicks. I, yeah, he kicked him and then punched him. Literally, I learned karate skills. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, he did that and I was like, I am a poor Sunderland player. Yeah, and it was quite fun, but um, not sure about that. Hopefully you're not watching it. Yeah, my head fell out in case he was watching it. And it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so, and, um, yeah, um, I've, oh, I've got to talk about this. The cha the champ, y United. Stop supporting them. <laughs> That's all I can say. Stop it. Stop it. Just don't know what to say. It was 2 0 to Cardiff at home at the Theatre of Dreams. Theatre of Nightmares, more like. Um, yeah, and um, Tottenham drawn to Everton on the weekend. If, um, but we were winning at one point, well, one second, um, then he got straight away. Um, yeah. Um, oh, this is, you might already know this, but, um, you know when Chelsea, Liverpool just beat Barca 4-0? They were all shouting at 3 a.m. while Messi was probably asleep because he had to stay in for something at midnight. Um, so he had to stay in the hotel because they missed him because he went somewhere. The Liverpool chants, wake up, Messi, wake up. And more, that was just so rude, man. Um, if I was Messi, I would say, woo, ah, off. Actually, um... But this is just friendly, so no. And yeah, yeah, and um, it's just crazy that so disrespectful. Um, you just think nothing. No, and hey, anyway, I'll do a Fortnite video either tomorrow or in a bit about Fortnite. Anyway, is that all to say? I think it is, but I uh, just want to add City just won the FA Cup uh, as well, so they've won the domestic treble. And guys, cut, like that, like that, hit that. Like that like button. Hit that like button. you got to hit that like button for my correct English there. Definitely. And if you're... And if you're a Liverpool fan, just click off this video. Make sure this thing is out now. I'm going to end this video. Make sure you do it. Because I'm going to talk some slack about Liverpool. Okay. Anyway. Wouldn't it be great if Liverpool bottled the Premier League? And the Champions League. I, if you watch my other video about um, the Champions League prediction. I predicted Tottenham to win. Spoiler alert. I should have said that before. Yeah. And then, that's all for the video. And, comment down below. Are you excited for next season? And, I'll do a predictions video very soon. But for now, bye. Love you.